Hey guys, we got some big news today. We're getting a new class at Enlisted and I wanted to discuss that with you. So let's take a look at it. Um, one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is I love playing the medic in video games. I've always had a good time with it. Uh, Hell Let Loose is a uh, recent game that has a medic class that I've been playing quite a bit. I suck at Hell Let Loose, but I at least understand how to play a medic. And you know what? People love you if you play a medic. So I always feel that sense of gratitude on the battlefield. But really where my love for playing a medic came from is a game from the early 2000s called Enemy Territory. And it was a class-based shooter where everyone had a job, had a role, if you will, and the medic, of course, was one of those uh, roles. And they would run around and distribute med packs to people. This was back before regenerating health was really a thing. So you had med packs that would heal, you know, X amount. And the other big thing that they could do is if someone got shot down, they would see this little red pip over the soldier's head and they could come up and distribute a syringe to pick them back up. And that would avoid them having to go through a respawn timer, spawning all the way in the back and have to run back up front, all that jazz. It would just keep the battle momentum pushing forward. Now with Enlisted, I'm curious to see how they're going to implement that. So I'm pretty excited and I can't wait to see, you know, what this means. So let's go through the news and then I'll go over some of my concerns and uh, things I'm curious about uh, as we move along. So new squad class, the Medic. Today in Enlisted, you can choose from 13 squads of soldiers, each with their own unique weapons or very useful skills for the whole team. True. Uh, but even in such a huge army of unique fighters of the World War II, I like how they say, of the World War II, uh, there is room for another important profession. Meet the medics. So let's take a quick look at the character model, right? We got Russian soldier. He's got his little med pack. Kind of reminds me of the radio operator, right? Instead of having the giant radio on his back, it looks like he's going to have his little medical bag. That's going to be his indicator of his class. Uh, first of all, the new squad class specializes in medical treatment. Uh, medic can keep their allies healthy in several ways at once, each of which will bring not only the comrades gratitude, but also battle points. Now this leads me to my first concern. Battle points, right? They've recently in, uh, upgraded how the engineer gets their battle points to try to make them a little bit more competitive on the board, right? Your battle points initially turn into XP at the end of the game um, in some cases, so you're really going to want to build those points, especially if you're not going for kills, right? If you're going for kill straight, that's where you're going to get most of your points. But if you're doing things like building sandbags, building barbed wire, building guns, spawn points, that's where your points come from. The medic, I'm going to assume most of his points are going to come from setting down his ammo crate, which we'll discuss in a second, and healing his teammates. But are those points going to be sufficient enough to avoid people saying, screw this, this isn't worth it, I'm just going to go in there and just shoot everybody. Oh, and I'll heal if I happen to have the chance to. That's my main concern here. Are the points going to be sufficient enough to make someone focus on their job rather than it just be like something that they can do when they remember that they can do it kind of thing? So that's concern number one. All right, let's take a look at this medical kit. One of the medic's main tools, the kit, is enough for many uses, each of which will restore a significant amount of health to a wounded comrade. At the same time, soldiers in need of treatment are marked by a visible icon on the medic's eyes. So this has me curious, right? So right now, if you're damaged, you can apply the kit to yourself before you go down. It only heals like what, 10, 15, 20% of your health. It's not a lot unless you have it perked, but the benefit is you can get a quick heal off and maybe survive an extra round depending what you run into. The medic is going to be able to do that manually for us now. And how much is it going to be 80%, 90%, 100%? Is it going to be a full heal, right? We don't know. Again, these are some of those vague points that we really need answered to see how valid this class is going to be on the field. Um, the other one is the mark, right? Right now when someone needs ammo, you get that little ammo box above their head. And that ammo box is going to give you, right, just an indication as an engineer. Like, hey, you need to build something so this guy can top off. The medic's going to see the same type of icon, right? Is it going to be a little syringe, which is kind of typical, right? Like I was saying with enemy territory, you see the little syringe in battlefield, you see the syringe or actually in battlefield when they just need health, right? You get the little med box um, icon. So it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool to see a new icon in the game. It's going to be cool to see, you know, how they implement all that. But that also makes me wonder, can you pick up uh, fallen soldiers, right? If you get shot down and you're in that process of applying your med kit, it's what, eight seconds? Can a med, uh, medic come and do that faster? And if so, that's going to be really awesome. But again, right, that runs into the question of, is it worth it? Is it worth it for a medic to run over and do that as opposed to just go kill a couple people when it comes to the grand scheme of clearing the point, clearing the objective, you know, focusing on their experience gains, stuff like that. So those are questions we'll have to see, uh, see answered, excuse me. 
first aid box. Um, another important and class tool that help, that takes up an additional weapon slot, which means they can only carry one SMG, and is ready for quick deployment on the battlefield. Inside the box, your comrades will find standard first aid kits that can be used either on the spot or carried with them. For each use of your box by your allies, you'll also get battle points, so you don't even have to be around. So I mean, this is just like the ammo box for the uh, engineer. The only difference is this is going to be specific to their inventory capacity for their med kits. So. This leads me to another question that I, I had been contemplating, right? If I'm in the front and I'm shooting everyone down and I get hit, right? I'm an aggressive player. I usually am running either a DMR or some sort of SMG and I'm in the front line. If I get hit and I go down and I apply that med kit, am I really going to take the time to run back to wherever the medic decided to put this box, grab another med kit, and then return to the front line? Or am I just going to keep going and going until I inevitably die and then just respawn and take in another squad and just do it all over again? That's another one of those like balancing questions, right? Is it worth it for people to just ignore the front line and go back and get another med kit as opposed to not? That's something we're going to have to see because that's my first thought is I don't know that I personally am going to stop and drop everything I'm doing to go get another med pack. That's just me, but I mean, I'm just being honest when I'm reading this. This is the one hitching point that I see, right? And again, when you go to the battle points for the medic, how worth it is it for the medic? If he's dropping this box and nobody's using it because nobody wants to leave the front line, they'd rather just respawn, then how useful is this box? And abilities. In addition to standard abilities, the medics, and I think they mean perks, uh, medics will also have special abilities that significantly increase their effectiveness, increasing the speed and quality of treatment, and increasing the number of medical kits in a bag or in that first aid box. So this reminds me of an engineer, right? Engineers, they have the uh, build speed perk, pilots have all the blackout perks and peripheral vision perks, tankers have the gear perks and stuff like that. So it looks like they're going to have specific perks designated for them to help them with their job, which is interesting, right? Because depending on where they slot them and depending on their stat distribution for their perks, how are they going to do, right? Everybody takes vitality, but if they put something that's extremely important to the medic in that vitality spot that makes vitality impossible to get now people are going to have to question do i take vitality or do i take right let's just say increasing speed of treatment we don't know and that's going to be something that's again depending on balance what's going to be more worth it right if i have the ability to run up to soldiers and treat you is it worth it for me to take the extra shot in the behind and continue treating you or is it going to be faster for me to actually just get the treatment off and avoid getting shot we don't know yet. Those are going to be some interesting things to see what's going to be more meta, if you will, for a medic to, to take in terms of perks. It's pretty cool. It has a lot of questions. But again, like I said, we won't know until it comes out. Leading the way. There's a pretty cool design here. He's got his little, ooh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Uh, he's got his little helmet here. Very, very obvious. He's a medic. He's got his little arm patch. We're going to discuss these character models in just a second, but it's pretty cool. Um, the new class is trained to handle the submachine gun. Medics are not as efficient as professional assaulters, right? Because they can only have one weapon because the med pack takes one slot, uh, takes the other weapon slot. But they can easily defend themselves and even support and attack the front lines, helping the wounded right in the thick of it. Which is pretty cool, right? You don't want a medic that has to sit all the way in the back, run up, heal, go back, right? Yes, that's fine for a game like Hell Let Loose, but in Enlisted, which is a little bit more fast paced, a lot more fast paced, you're going to want that medic right there next to you so he can quickly do what he needs to do and get you back into the battlefield and then go back about his business. If he had to run all the way from the back line, no one's going to want to wait for him. So no, that's good that they're making them a frontline support class. All right. Medics will debut exclusively, and this is important, in our new enlisted campaign based on one of the famous battles of World War II that we will be sure to tell you, that we will be sure to tell you about in future blogs. Stay tuned. All right. So this has me questioning something. Are these character models just basic character models? Or are these character models from the new campaign? Right, there's a lot of speculation right now that the new campaign is Stalingrad. And if we look at the two character models, Russian soldier, German soldier, it does make you think, hey, this could actually just be a hint that yes, it is Stalingrad. However, it also could just be two character models they slap together just to give the visual um, uh, reference points just so we know that that's what's coming. We don't know, right? The developers could be sly and they could be like, oh yeah, we're gonna make them think it's Russian and German, but it's not, right? Maybe it's Finnish and German, we don't know. That's kind of what the cool thing here is, but a lot of people are speculating Stalingrad 
And I'm going to be honest with you, if it's Stalingrad, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it, right? We already have two, uh, two campaigns that focus on Russia and Germany. I don't know that I necessarily want a third one. I don't want to farm another Mosin. I don't want to farm another uh, PPSH or PPD. Like, I'm done with Moscow. I'm done with Berlin. I don't need that again. I want something fresh and something new. So I don't know how I feel about that if that is the case. Like I said, it's exclusive to the new campaign. That's why that wording is very important. And they're only showing a German and a Russian soldier. So my fingers are crossed that these are just character models just to show off the new features of the characters. And these aren't the actual character models from inside the, um, the campaign. But we don't know. Like they said, we got a lot of news to come. They still gotta, they still gotta give us the new campaign. They gotta give us the details. Now the battle pass was extended for a couple weeks because they said they wanted more time to get ready to drop the big update. So here we are knocking on wood. The update's gonna be in a couple weeks. We don't know, but we're pretty sure it is again based on the timing of what they had said. Um, I'm excited though, right? Medic again, one of my favorite classes, one of my favorite ways to play a game. It's just how is it implemented in Enlisted? Enlisted is a pretty fast paced game when you are playing in certain ways, right? I play very aggressively, so I'm always just running in, gunning down what I can, respawning and doing it again. So I don't know to what extent the medic is gonna be a lot of help for me, but hey, maybe the way the new campaign is, maybe it's a lot slower paced, right? But we don't know. So time will tell. And I am super excited. I can't wait to see what they're bringing to us, right? We got the bombers coming. We got tail gunners coming. Now we're going to have medics coming. Like there's so many exciting things coming to the game, right? They're in this beta period where they're just trying to add features and things. So it's ready for full launch, right? Come on guys, get it on steam. Um, but other than that, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited and yeah, let's go play a medic, right? Yeah, let's drop a like, drop a sub. We'll be covering Enlisted as we go along, and hopefully I can catch you guys in the battlefield. Peace.